After a record breaking year of homicides last year, city leaders are now learning on are leaning on the federal government to help with the raise in violent crime in the capital city. Joining us now is our Anam Siddiqui from the newsroom. She's live. Anam, can you tell us a little bit more about this partnership? Yes, yeah, city leaders will now start working with the Department of Justice to figure out what's working and what's not. The overall goal, help prevent and reduce crime. Less than a month into the new year, Baton Rouge is facing at least 10 homicides. This coming off of a record-breaking year of 170. City leaders say they have had enough. It's past time for us to wake up and understand the reality of the situation that we're in. Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom is creating the East Baton Rouge Violence Reduction Collaborative, where the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, Baton Rouge Police Department, and the District Attorney's Office will work together alongside the Department of Justice. We're going to continue to identify what we need to do to change. This partnership will establish a three-year violence reduction strategic plan. District Attorney Hiller Moore says his office is facing a backlog of cases since the uptick in violent crime. The overwhelming majority of our cases now are gun-related around 2,500 and around 2,500 domestic violence related cases. Baton Rouge Police Chief Murphy Paul says one of his biggest challenges in the past year has been staffing. After George Floyd's um, murder, what we saw was uh, in 2020 there was a 40 percent increase in resignations nationally. We need boots on the ground uh, for these strategies to work. We have to fill these vacancies. Some East Baton Rouge Metro Council members hope to see this collaboration help shape our youth. To make sure that we find out what are some of the interests of the kids that are running around in the streets. We have a list of programs now. Let me tell you where we're falling short. People are not connected to the resources. City officials will start meeting with the Department of Justice next month. Reporting live in the newsroom, Anam Siddiqui, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you very much, Anam.